now the variables which are used in the research a clear concept about the types of the variables is very important otherwise it's very difficult to attempt their mcqs now to simplify the things the variables are discrete and continuous now the discrete always remember that the discrete variables are those which are countable which we can count and the continuous variables are all which are measurable if you will remember these two points it will help you to identify them so the variables the discrete variables and the continuous variables how to identify them the discrete variables are countable variables while the continuous variables are measurable variables now the further the discrete variables which are also called the countable variables are nominal ordinal and also ranked now these nominal and ordinal and ranked they are also called the categorical variables these are just the various terminologies categorical variables so what are their examples when we say nominal so word nominal is showing that there should be some names and yes you can remember them by saying that in the nom the examples of the nominal uh, variables are like the females males if we are talking about the race if we are talking about the gender if we are talking about the hair color and you can also uh, think about a lot of other other examples as as much examples you will do right at this stage you will be able to then identify them so the variables the discrete ones discrete ones are those which are countable the countable ones are ordinal nominal and ranked and the nominal ones are in which we are naming the various categories that is why they are called the categorical there is one category of male there is one category of female uh, race ethnicity hair color from which province uh, you belong all these variables are nominal variables then we have the ordinary ordinary and ranked are similar kind of things now the ordinary when we when the our data set is in the form of an order like for example the ordinal variables when there is a certain order in the our data set like for example we can talk about the income group we usually say the high income group the low income group how many people how many people are there in, in the low income strata how many are there in the high income group uh, strata then the positions ranked first second third the order rank then the most important ones we all know that most of the times in the questionnaires we have this th these kind of statements highly agree disagree neutral all these are orders so the countable discrete variables are nominal ordinal ranked also called the categorical variables the nominal ones like the gender distribution race hair color ordinal various orders first second third various income groups all these are the examples of discrete countable variables which are nominal ordinal ranked now now what are the continuous variables the continuous variables are those which are measurable and they are further of two types interval and ratio about these interval and ratio always remember two things the interval and ratio are those data which are in the parametric range which have the normal bell curve 
while this ordinal and nominal are in the non parametric uh, data sets now in the interval and ratio there is an other very very important thing in interval there is no true zero there is no true zero while in ratio there is true zero the most common example to understand this interval when we have different temperature scales 4 degree centigrade 1 degree centigrade and then we have 0 degree centigrade now this 0 degree centigrade it not a true zero it does not mean that 0 degree centigrade means no temperature the 0 degree temperature has its own importance but in ratio there is a true zero we can say that there is no person is in this group there zero means zero so in ratio there is true zero but interval there is no true zero and these are the continuous variables the most common examples are height weight obviously this temperature all these are examples of continuous variables.